Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a quick little review on the book Delirium by Lauren Oliver. Uh, yeah, if you haven't heard of this book, um, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I don't know. I've heard of this book since like seventh grade when my best friend read it. Um, and I know she really enjoyed it. I was talking to her about it once, like when I got it from the library and stuff, and I was like, oh, I'm pretty excited to read this book, but I don't know if I'm going to read the second and third book, just because I had listened to Elle Fowler's literature on those books, and I know that she didn't enjoy those ones quite as much as the first book, and as you know, if you watched some of my previous book reviews where I, re where I review dystopian books, the second and third books tend to not be as good as the first. And, um, so, I don't know, I'm, I'm not sure still, even after reading this book, if I want to read the rest of the series. I don't know. But, um, anyways, just sticking to the first book, Delirium, I thought this book was really, really good. I was highly pleased with it. I went through it really fast. Like, I read it in, like, three days. It was one of the fastest times I've read a book since I've picked reading back up. And I was <laughs> really pleased with myself. Um... And it was just a really good book. I really liked the writing style of it. I liked how it was like youthful kind of, but it was also very serious and mature sounding voice. Um, unlike with some other books I've read that are made for the teenage audience where the author is clearly trying to sound like a teenager and um, it just comes off very like kind of insulting to those of us who actually have a good vocabulary. And, um, yeah, <laughs> not that I'm displaying it right now with my and ums um, 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 um. Anyways, uh, this book was very good. It was very powerfully written, I think. Um, I think that the author, um, and they probably did this with the second and third books and stuff, but they probably could have done a slightly better job with getting her message out. Um, but I think that with the way that the character was thinking and the way the storyline was moving that it was very very good the way it was done um and anyway so what this book is about is about a society like I don't know it's a dystopian society so it's in the future and um in this society again with the and um in this society they have uh decided that love is a disease they call it um Deliria nervosa, and um, I think there's an, oh yeah, it's like Amora Deliria nervor, 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 nervosa or something like that, um, but it's basically just love. So love is a disease, and it's actually a very rational uh, explanation for why the society thinks of love as being a disease, because it lists symptoms such as loss of appetite, um, unclear thinking, Heartbreak, of course, being like the final thing, and that's what kills you. And um, it just, it comes up with lots of symptoms that actually prove it to be a very rational train of thought for why love could be seen as a disease. And it's very interesting the way that the author puts up such a good argument for like the first half of the book. And I was very intrigued by this idea because, you know, in our society today, in our society today they're setting the table, lots of dishes are moving. <laughs> Anyways, in our society today, love is something where everyone's just like, celebrate love, love is the best thing ever, ha ah! and stuff. And like, no one challenges that really. Whereas in this society, like, you don't even love your family. You know, you just, you're like, oh, they're my family, I regard them well, I treat them as a family should treat each other, which is fulfilling their needs, but not going any further than that. And the main character of this book, Lena, is very, she's like pro-anti-love. She's like, yeah, yeah, let's, let's, um, let's get this. Um, I want my cure. I want to be cured of my disease because at the age of 18, like in many other dystopian books, something happens. So they go and they get a, a surgery that takes away their ability to love. And... That's just very interesting to me because I'm personally, I'm fascinated by like serial killers. I swear this is the point. But I'm fascinated by serial killers and um, like learning about their minds and stuff. And I think that's just so fascinating. But um, one of the things that's very common in lots of serial killers, like psychopathic ones, is that they don't have empathy, which is the ability to love and then also to 
feel what other people are feeling, and they just, like, it's part of the reason why they kill is they just see it as another person. When they're not even really a person, they're just like, they did something wrong, I need to kill them. And, uh, yeah. Anyways, back on track. Um, so they kind of just, they take away their ability to love, they cut it out of their brain surgically, and then, like, you're matched with a person, and you're given a job, and all this good stuff where they basically take away your choice, or they at least give you a list of choices that you get to choose from, but it's very secluded. It's what they choose for you to choose from. Anyways, um, and it's just, uh, interesting because then she one day has a thing that happens, of course, where it challenges her ideas that love is such a bad thing, and it makes her, like, take a step back and go, oh... Maybe love isn't a disease, and if it is a disease, maybe it's not a bad disease and stuff. And um, it's just her growing to learn really what love is because it's totally different from what her society said. And she learns, of course, about the corrupt evilness of her society and lots of stuff like that. Um, yeah, I don't want to say any more because I know I'm going to just end up giving away the whole book. But this book was very good. I think I will watch Elle's literature on the second book again just to see if I'm intrigued at all because I know how it kind of ends. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to read it or not. Um, yeah, but this book, I would highly recommend reading this book. I would give this book like a 8 out of 10. Yeah, really good. Again, Delirium by Lauren Oliver. And yeah, I guess I will see you guys next week. Goodbye.